Hello, this is Tim Stack from the Utah Education Network and I want to talk a little bit about how to manage all the apps that end up on your device. Um, so you can see my iPad screen here and I'm just going to swipe over to my last home screen. Now, uh, you can see there are a couple apps here. So I've got one, this Connect app, I've got this Ed Canvas app, I've got another Canvas app, I've got this tool for students. Now. I could put the apps out on these home screens and I can have a lot of home screens and I can have 20 apps on each home screen uh, but it gets a little messy and I might want to organize them a little bit. Now I want, might want to organize them for my own use or I might want to organize them for students. So you can see I have a, I have a, fold, I have a folder here called you know, 7 through 12 social studies so it might be a lot easier if I'm setting up um, iPads for students to use to put certain apps in certain folders so that they can find them more quickly. And I can say, hey, the apps that you're going to use today are in folder, the folder called Art Project. So you can see there's a folder here called Art Project. And those are the ones that's, you don't have to go searching for them. That's the apps that you're going to be using for this particular project. So um, just quick, let's organize these up. So let's say I want these three apps right here the connect the ed canvas and this canvas app I want those all in the same folder alright so um, the steps to do that are first I need to get into editing mode or you hear people call it the wiggle mode so I'm going to tap on any of these apps out here on this on my home screen uh, and hold and if I tap and hold for a second or two things start to wiggle and you can see um, now I'm going to pick up any one of the three, it doesn't matter which three that I use, I'm just going to tap and hold on one of them and you can see as I, as I tap and hold it, I pick it up, Okay, it gets a little bit bigger and I'm just going to drag and drop it onto one of the other ones and when I do that a folder is created. All right, and it automatically names it. So maybe these are, and I can, uh, if I want to change that name, if I tap into there, my keyboard comes up, and I can back out of that. Maybe I just see these are Ed Tools. Oops, and I can type in the name that I want. Now, um, I still have one app that's not in there. So I just tapped out to the side of that folder, and you can see that folder's created. It's right there. I want to put, I want to add this one. So I'm just going to drag it drop it in there and now I've got um, a folder started I've got three apps in there and it's right I can put a lot more it used to be that you can only put 20 apps in but I think you can put many more than that now because it you can scroll inside of there um, and then to get out of the wiggle mode if I just tap my home button click my home button once I'm back out of that editing mode okay and everything works like normal. Now um, if you find that you have uh, made folders or too many and you want to get rid of apps out of folders um, I tapped and held on any of the icons out on the screen whether it was an app or a folder waited for a moment it goes into wiggle mode and if I say well you know I don't really want this folder maybe I want these apps just to sit out on the screen or I want them in other folders I can just pick them up one at a time move them out to the screen, move them into a different folder, or just drag them on to the home screen. And as soon as that folder is empty, so when I drag that last one out, you could see that it just, that the folder went away. So it does not allow me to have empty folders. All right, the other thing at this point, if you would like, you've downloaded and tried out some apps and you want to remove them, then uh, this is the same mode to be in. So if I wanted to remove one of these, that's what the little X is for. So if I tap that X, so if I say I want to delete this app called Tools for Students, I tap the X, I get a little message just to make sure, and I'm going to click Delete, and that app goes away. Now, if I wanted it back, I could go to the App Store and download it again, even if I've paid for it. I don't need to pay for it again, but I can take it off my iPad without taking it out of my Apple account. All right, so that's uh, quickly making folders with your apps. Um, now, if I wanted to move a folder or an app from one screen to another screen, so you can see I've got four home screens right now set up. 
um, and I want to, and it, they just set up automatically, so it's not like I went in and set them up. So I've got four, and the way you guys can tell that there's four, as you can see down here, there are these little tiny dots. So if I wanted to move from one screen to another, um, all I need to do is to select the app, again, so I'm in a, or folder, so I just tap and hold on it, and I can move it, so there's, I can move it on the screen, but if I want to move it to another home screen, there's, there's two ways to do this. I can move it over to the edge, and when I get to the right spot on the edge, it, um, the screen changes, and then I can let go of it. Um, let me put that back where it was. Uh, now that method I find a little frustrating, so here's another idea that a teacher shared with me. Um, down in the dock, the dock is this area he, down here at the bottom, you can see I've got four apps, actually three apps and a folder down there. Um, there's room for six items there. So if I wanted to move an app and have it, you know, maybe move across a couple or I wanted to move a folder onto another screen, I can set it down there, tempor not inside there, I can set it there temporarily and then swipe to the screen I want it on and then pull it off. Okay. So if I've got a lot of stuff to move, you know, I might um, drag a couple things down there. Oops. And then I wonder if I can put more than six. It used to be oh, it's still six. Good. Okay. I'm going to swipe over to where I want these and then move those off. Okay. So pretty easy to move stuff around. I prefer this method of uh, putting them down on the dock temporarily swiping to where I want them and then pulling them off. Again, uh, keeping things organized is nice, but if you're thinking about students, um, and especially the younger the students, if I swipe over to the um, to my first home screen, if there's uh, things that you want them to be able to do and not have to look for things, you might load this first home screen up with folders of the things you want them to use most. Then they won't be swiping around looking for stuff. Okay, so just a quick, quick little bit about moving apps around, help you organize and help you find them. Of course, if you cannot find stuff, there is a great tool called the Spotlight and it has moved. It used to be you could swipe and as you kept swiping to the left, the Spotlight would come up. Now, from wherever you are on any home screen, if I just tap and swipe down. Okay, oh, I got to get out of this editing mode. So if I tap and swipe down anywhere, you can see a search tool comes up at the top. Okay, so that's Spotlight. So this allows me to search for um, in many categories on my iPad, but it's a great tool for launching apps that you forgot which folder you put them into. So I could just say, oh, I want to use YouTube. So I start typing in YouTube. It comes up. Not only does it show me um, the app and I can just then tap right here and that'll launch. It also shows me which folder it's in. So if I have put it inside of a folder, um, it helps me remember where it is. And if I just tap on it, then YouTube launches or whichever app you wanted to watch or wanted to use launches. All right, thanks for watching.